Hi, and welcome to another episode of Making Things. Today, I'll be showing you my multi-zone automatic irrigation system. Right. Ah, a bit of stinging nettle here. Gonna take it while I can. All right, little side note I didn't plan on doing, but if you've got some stinging nettle, you want to remove it right away before you lose track of it. Now, you may know that it's supposed to sting when you touch it, but if you grab it by the base, it's not as bad. And the other thing is to not fiddle around with it like I'm doing right now. I'm screwing up here, but anyways, just gotta pinch it hard enough that little hair on it don't brush, but rather just break. And if they don't, come on, if they don't brush your skin, it's not gonna burn because it won't scratch you. It's just gonna break under, under your fingers. And then, it's a non-issue. Yeah. Starting to rain, it's a big storm coming. Mmm, fresh strawberries. Looks like there might be anything. Oh! Oh! Something else got to it. I don't get to eat it. Ah. First strawberry of the season is gone. Ah, I'll live. Ah, another one. All right, gotta be quicker. Anyways, I've already done an instructable on uh, how I built my irrigation system. If you want to see the the ins and outs of how to make your own, went into some fair lengths about that. But this is. The key piece, I've got a hundred foot of this half inch PVC pipe going around my my yard. And it's not plumbing because it's just a hose. It's got a hose fitting. I can just remove the quick release. And yeah, not easy with one hand. But anyways, there you go. Once the quick release is removed, pressure is relieved. It's not a risk to your house. It's not a liability so you don't have to actually plumb it like you would outdoor plumbing and it's not meant to be plumbing either it really just is a little irrigation system but uh this is the important part you need a valve on it you can have different valves to cut off sections and make it more versatile but this little valve here is the one i use for the pressure you can you can obviously make the water uh, pressure lower by closing the valve at the source but then you're gonna get knocking and squealing. And if you have it running early in the morning before it gets too hot, like you should, that'll be really annoying while you're sleeping. Or even if you are awake, actually, it's just really annoying. So, you know, put one of these at the other end of your yard and it's gonna save you a lot of headache. Now with the pressure relieved, you don't get the pipes bursting like I was getting at first. Let's go see what we got here. So I've got, I need to change this. I'm actually gonna put another arm. I was out of PVC pipe, but I wanna put another arm along the back and just have straight bits. But this flat tape drip hose, if you, uh, if you put it with fairly big bends, it'll, it'll survive just fine. It won't necessarily crack or anything. Found some weeds I wanna remove here seed pods yeah anyways yeah as you can see I need to weed everywhere actually things grow really well when you irrigate everything I need to put mulch next time um, but yeah so I've got these different sections and with the black PVC pipe going around it doesn't drip everywhere so I'm not watering uselessly um, I get here and you know as you can see it's screwed up here and I fixed it putting a little patch but I've got another drip tape that starts and it does a first blueberry patch and I've got another one here this is my blueberry and grape ah, grapes are getting water in there daily water and you know still it's a tough this is a tough season 
not even summer yet, and water levels are late August levels, late July, early August levels, so, you know, it's been really hot. It's good if you're watering, but, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, you put in segments, and there you got it. And you can also have tiny little segments like this one I have here. I just have two Haskab bushes. Ooh, the berries. <gasps> Ooh, this is the first year I get my berries. Mm. Also called honey berries or Saskatoon berries. Real name is Haskaps. And, you know, this just goes beside it. Like, it's not perfect, but it's enough to sprinkle the soil around it. The roots will do their thing. Ah, it's producing quite a bit, actually. Mmm. I've only got two on this ring. So, that's that's the versatility of the thing, you know? I don't need to... I wouldn't, I wouldn't set up an irrigation system for just two bushes. The other one's over there. But, mm, just putting in a little hose with an extra, you know, dollar fifties worth of, of plastic and fittings and, and hose and you've got another segment for it you know I, I don't really care all that much about the, de the, the the decorative plants all the filling I mean they're nice but it's the ones I eat that I want to make sure get enough water so don't want to be wasting water spraying everything you know shotgun approach oh that one was pretty tart it's still pretty good though mm. Go we'll see that other bush. It may have berries too. I don't think it does though. Didn't see them earlier. Ah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yes, look at this. Little berries. Hmm. All right, gotta leave some for the wife. But yeah, as I was saying, having the different sections, you know, really allows you to be efficient and it's really not that expensive. I mean, the, the 100 feet ring hose I bought cost me less than 30 bucks. And I might need a little bit more if I want to do more segments because I do have another section with a patch of strawberries and, and I want to put in some fruit trees in the front. But really, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a big investment. It's not a big big amount of work either I did all of this in less than half a day and it was the first time I I'd, I'd done it on on this scale I mean I worked on a farm and so I had an idea of what my goal was but it's the first time I was doing a, a home setup so looks like that's oh no it looks like that's it they were the first of the season so can't expect a big harvest. I think I just got lucky to even get any today. So this is the end of my pipe. I closed it up and I've just got a single really long run going and it goes through about oh, 100 feet uh, of what will eventually be a wall of raspberry bushes. Uh, right now it's just a few plants here and there but I almost forgot, this is the brains of the thing. This little thing, it's a little trinket, 30 bucks. And uh, it's set it on a timer and every day it sprays for an hour. Now don't get me wrong, an hour would be a lot. It's just because I'm doing drip irrigation. So it's really a little drop at a time. So an hour, you can, you can tell how much you need by looking at if the soil is still wet a couple hours later. Uh, so yeah. This is how I stop forgetting to water my plants. Anyways, if this was helpful to you, please like, subscribe. Check out my Instructables for more details. Have a good day.